Hytale released two days ago and is a blast to play, but what if I told you it's even more fun with friends? In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can set up your own Hytale server fast and easy, so you and your friends can conquer the world of Hytale together. So let's get straight into it by going to the dathost.net website. You can find the link in the description. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a bunch of games. Dathost offers server plans for all these games, but for today's video, we'll be choosing Hytale. Go ahead and click the Hytale button. Now this will take you to the Hytale page, where you'll see all the information about the server specs, pricing, and much more. Datos servers are built for performance. They don't apply any RAM usage limitations up to the 16GB provided, plus they never throttle your CPU so your server always gets the power it needs. Datos runs on enterprise-grade hardware and premium protected networks. Depending on the location, a typical machine includes high-end CPUs, 16GB of DDR5 RAM, fast NVMe or SSD storage, and network speeds of 10 gigabits per second or higher. They also use external uptime and performance monitoring to keep servers running smoothly 24-7. Something to also keep in mind is that you can always change the game after buying a server, which is a super handy feature for people who love switching between games. Before clicking the big order now button, feel free to scroll down a little and read all the extra information about that host servers. After that, you can click the order now button and it will take you to the next page. On this page, you'll need to choose the server location. In most cases, the one with the lowest amount of latency is best. You'll find it at the start of the list. A low latency ensures all players have a lag-free experience on your server. If you've decided your server location, go ahead and click on the next button. This will take you to the login page, where you can either create a new account or log in with an already existing one. After logging in, you'll be taken to the server dashboard. On the dashboard, you'll see your newly acquired server, but we're not done yet. Let me quickly guide you through some fun ways to customize your Hytale server. Go ahead and click the edit button on your server. This will take you to the settings tab. Starting off with the server name. This is a name people will see in game when they're going to join your server. You can easily change it by removing the name and typing your desired name here. Under the server name, we can find the server password option. Here you'll be able to add a password to your server so only people with that password can join. You can also leave this open if you want a public server that anyone can join. The third and fourth options are the maximum players allowed and the render distance. Feel free to change these to whatever you want, but keep in mind that this does put more load on your server, which could result in lag. The last setting you can change is the server domain. This is the address you will share for people to join. I recommend making it exactly the same as the server name or something similar so people don't get confused. Now if you're happy with the changes you've made, then go ahead and click the orange save button on the bottom left. This will save any changes you've made. Now let's move on to the file manager, which you can find on the left of the screen. Now that you're in the file manager, you'll see a ton of folders and files appear. These are the actual files behind the server. Datos automatically makes backups of your server, so if something does go wrong, you can just load up one of those backups and be good again. The file manager is one of my favorite features on the Dathos website since this is where we'll be able to add mods to our server. To add a mod, go to a website like CurseForge and download a mod of your choosing. Now go to your downloads folder and drag and drop your newly downloaded mod into the mods folder on the Dathos website. This will automatically install it. Now just do this a couple of times with all the mods you want and you're done. Now with your settings tweaked, mods installed and server details done, you're finally ready to start your server. You can start your server in the edit menu or on the dashboard. Just simply click the start button on either of those pages and the server will start. Now just share the IP and all your friends can join. And there you have it, a full guide on how you can start a Hytale server fast and easy. We at Dathos hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.